Okay, not exactly what I was expecting from, from shade chests. I didn't even know you could get these things from shade chests, but if you haven't heard of the limestone method before, I guess last episode I left you with a little mysterious hint on what to expect. So I do have to start getting geared for construction and construction is a gigantic obstacle in the way for Max. The cape is extremely useful and it's keeping me from doing a lot of things. Uh, so next video you guys will get a peek into the most infamous Ultimate Iron Man method, I'd say, at least in my opinion. I'm currently looking for this beautiful piece of dead content right here, which I'm gonna be honest, and not many of you probably know that it exists, but it's called a flam tar bag, and basically it allows you to hold 60 limestone bricks in it. You can do other things with it, but that's the only thing that really matters to me. And it pretty much makes the whole method viable because instead of holding 20 limestone bricks per inventory, you're holding 80. I've said this a few times, but I do truly enjoy every single skill in this game, but there are two things that I don't really like doing when skilling, and that's world hopping and buying from shops. Limestone has both of those and is pretty click intensive, so I think this skill is really gonna test my outlook on that. A lot of ultimates just choose not to do the method at all, but it is not only the fastest, but also the cheapest construction method there is. And it's about 65 KXP an hour. Oh, yes, beautiful. Okay, that took a lot longer than I remember it being, but that's fine. Uh, we got everything that we need to start the method, but I do want to do one more thing before the grind begins. Since I don't have anything in my offhand anyway, I might as well just buy a Chronicle. Uh, and this thing is just going to teleport me to the Champions Guild, and I'm going to be able to combine, like, Whiteberry runs with Herb runs, so you should see a lot of Whiteberries being collected, as well as Herb runs, obviously, but... So yeah, I guess the grind is officially beginning. I've done a couple runs so far, but I want to do Tears of Guthix real quick, because construction is actually my lowest skill right now. Limestone can be around 65k an hour, so it's worth more on construction than it would be on mining, which is my next lowest skill. But yeah, it's finally starting. We are but a humble construction worker on his first day on the job. He's so full of hope and life. Let's take that all away from him. There we go. The first construction level of many. Only 12 to go from here on out. I've already kind of uh, learned a lot about the method, so learned a couple time-saving things. And hopefully I can reach like a 70k hour. I'm averaging like 60k, 66k an hour I think right now. Alright, so one thing I found out about the method so far is if you come to this gate and then once you press it, you hop worlds once you're one to two tiles away, you can actually skip the gate entirely. So, it saves you a whole one tick. Whole 0 0.6 <laughs> seconds. Isn't that great? Alright then. 46 berries from one. My god. Alright, level number two. The Stockholm Syndrome has not kicked in yet, but... It's not too bad, honestly. It's not too bad right now. No, I missed the level. That's depressing. There's 89 construction. Also, I did manage to pull a 68.6k hour, so I think I can beat that, though. I, I think I can pretty easily beat that. I made a couple mistakes during that hour, so I think 70k an hour should be doable. Uh, but I won't be trying it anytime soon. I'll try it after like 90 or something. Pretty big level. Level 90 construction. Honestly, it feels like it took ages because, I don't know, I feel like all my time is just going to farm runs. I feel like I spend so much time farming, but there's 90 construction. Uh, we can now build all the stuff that we already have, so that's fantastic. Thanks, game. Also, another thing, only mining left for base 90s now. It's my last skill. This skill is almost done, man. 98 farming, that is awesome. One level to go. I remember I was like 91 farming before I started Zolra, but Zolra set me up so incredibly well. I'm still farming the seeds that I got from Zolra, so... And yeah, the herbs obviously have put in quite a big dent into farming, because I've been farming herbs for ages, but... Big 1.2 mil XP to go, and we'll be done with farming. That's awesome. The cape for that is really good, too. All right, here's a 91 construction, and I can actually... I think this is ornate jewelry box? Yeah, magic dungeon treasure chest as well. I don't know, I might upgrade my house to all the marble stuff once I'm done here, or if I have a lot of money, but I think I'm gonna burn through, like, half my cash stack getting to 99, so... All right, 92 construction. It doesn't even feel like halfway. I gotta be honest with you. I've still got, what, like another 300,000 something bricks to use on this damn attack stone, but yeah, it's been little over a week of being this indecisive construction worker who keeps destroying and building the same attack stone. So I'm running pretty low on seeds, so I'm actually gonna have to take a few days at Master Farmers just to get some more, but that's not even the main problem, it's just that I have no looting bag space. Uh, I have Raynar seeds in my seed box, but I can't farm them because I have nowhere to put the herbs that I would be getting, so... I have to take a break to reorganize my bag and also just get more seeds in general, so yeah, I probably will do that after like 93 or something. As you can see, we're only 23k away from 93 construction. I didn't want to leave it that way, but ironically enough, I destroyed my bag 20k away, 
it was an accident. I'm just gonna mine like 1500 ash or something. I'm gonna make a ton of ultra compass so that I don't have to bother with that ever again. And then I'm gonna go to master farmers and get like, I don't know, just enough seeds to get me through 99 construction probably. I don't know how many that is at all, but I'll do the math and figure it out, so. So this should be roughly enough seeds. I did about 600k XP at master farmers. And I'm hoping that this is enough. I, I think this should get me through 99 construction at the very least. Uh, but yeah, I will be out of seeds as soon as that happens. So I'll probably just go back or whatever. We'll figure it out. So this clip is going to seem kind of out of nowhere. But I've been trying to pull the trigger on this for months. Man, literal months. I sometimes get hate when I drop things. But it it's literally part of the mode. Like, it's what the mode is about, alright? The only thing keeping me from dropping this shield all of this time is the nostalgia value of it. But truly... The DFS is an item that has just outlived its usefulness. I prefer a defender at Bandos and Zami, I have a buckler for Sarah, a regular anti-dragon shield is better at Vorkath, and I use a blowpipe anyway, I don't do dragon tasks, I don't plan to do Arma, even if I did it's not worth keeping for just one boss. It hurts me a little to do, for sure. Um, I spent a long time trying to get it, 7k wyvern kills, but it's the right decision. Alright, space is just very clearly more valuable than this shield nowadays. So as much as it hurts, so goodbye DFS, I don't think I'll ever forget the moment that I got you because I think this was the one item that I, like the first item that I was really really excited to get, so it hurts man. Alright, the seed box is refueled, we are ready to go, all in one go from here on out, let's do it. Alright, there's 93 construction, uh, I was only 20k away from this to be fair, but it's nice to give me that little bit of motivation, just a quick level as soon as I come back. What the fuck? Oh my god, I got the fucking pet! I just came here for a white berry seed, that is literally all I wanted. I didn't even grab my rogue set, because I thought I would be here for like, under 1k XP. Which I was. I mean, this is all- I- I've been here for like a minute, if that. I don't understand. Oh my god. Alright, let's ensure this cute little raccoon. Oh my god, I honestly can't believe that happened. So that's, I think, my fifth pet overall. I mean, to be fair, I am 16 mil thieving, but the fact that I just went for a white berry seed and got it within like 800 XP, that is so insane. Yeah, so that's five in total. Unless you count the cat, then I have six. Oh, look at him go, man. Don't worry, guys. I got the white berry seeds. And there's 94 construction, five levels to go. I even cleared up the screen markers for you so it would look cleaner. Wow, what a humble YouTuber. If I weren't me, I'd definitely give this YouTuber a like and sub. Always thinking of his viewers. It's inspiring. 800k away from 95. Let's knock this out. Decided to knock this quest out because there's no point not farming with the Aether patch if it's there and uh, it's also disease free so definitely makes sense to unlock this thing and this is going to make farming go a lot faster which means I don't think I have enough seeds anymore. An eighth patch does change things a bit, so if I run out of seeds, I run out of seeds. It's all good. Also gonna light this bad boy, because whenever I do God Wars Dungeon in the future, it's just gonna be nice to have a little quality of life kind of thing. Also, this portal is a lifesaver, man. I think it saves me like 30 seconds per farm run now to use this instead of just running from Trollheim, so... Really awesome portal. It's been an extremely long time coming, but we're only 4 XP away from claiming the 17th 99 on the account. A lot of trees, a lot of herbs, and we're here. Alright, let's pick this berry, man. Let's finish this off. 17 99s, man. Six to go. There it is. Such an awesome cape as well. We're gonna go claim it. Yeah, unlimited spirit trees, which is actually extremely good. So whenever I get a spirit tree seed, I will definitely plant it in the final patch. That's awesome, man. Let's go claim this cape. I am very excited. Thank you for the cape, Mr. Martin. Very good looking cape and also extremely useful. If you don't know what it does, 5% extra yield from herb patches now. So this is going to make my herb lore go a lot quicker. And it's the, it's the slowest skill. So, I mean, it's really nice to have this cape out of the way to make that go a little bit faster. Back to construction. Let's finish this off, man. Let's claim the 18th 99. Two 99s, one video. I really don't understand how I missed these, man. You actually have to pay a pretty decent amount of attention to do this. Yet, it's down to muscle memory so much that I just actually miss levels, so. 92 herbs from one farm run, that is insane. Six snap seeds, literally the best thing I could have gotten from that. That is so good. Oh, we're getting so close, man. We're getting so incredibly close. Three levels to go, 96 construction. 32 rooms now, fantastic, thank you. Marble wardrobe, too. Yoink. 50? Okay, that's pretty good too. I'll bone meal that. So I don't think I've done a looting bag check in the entire video, but I am over 4.5k white berries and I've farmed quite a bit of herbs, so 
Thought you'd like to see that. The king of missing levels strikes again. There we go. I will uh, put up a screenshot for this one, but two levels, man. I am so excited to have this damn cape, man. 1.1 mil until 98. That's a fat... 15 hours of limestone. Very special moment right now in settled history. I'm sure there are many other special moments, but this is pretty damn special. All right, one level to go. My God, am I motivated to finish this right now. I am gonna bang this last level out. You know, that worked out almost perfectly. I'm 92K XP away from 99 construction and I'm completely out of seeds. This is my last one, so. Almost worked out perfectly. Very, very happy with that. So before we finish off this level, this is the final looting bag here. 3.3k Raynars, over 6k white berries. That's insane. And all the rest of the herbs. Looking real good. Today is a beautiful day. I finish off one of the hardest skills I've done on this account today. 99 construction. Let's do it, man. Let's just get this over with. There it is. Oh my god, the joy. The joy I feel right now. It's finally over. 1899's down. Five more to go. Let's go get that cape, man. The whole reason as to why I did this, let's go grab it. All right, sell me the cape, Mr. Estate Agent. I am so happy, man. The absolute undisputable best utility cape in the game, unless you count max cape, of course, but skill cape-wise, undisputed champion here. And for ultimates, it's especially good. After building 50,000 limestone attack stones, my character somehow knows how to build an actual house, which is pretty damn impressive, so... Really nice emote. The biggest reason why this cape is so much better on an ultimate than any other game mode is that I've just basically freed up two slots. I no longer need to keep teleport runes in my rune pouch. Those two slots are completely free to any runes that I want to use them for now, and I have unlimited house tellies. It's just, it's so perfect. It's so incredibly perfect, so... This is definitely one of the most efficient things you can go for early on your account. All you need is 59 construction for the limestone method. You need about 30 mil and you're good to go. Decided to clean up the house a bit because it was an absolute mess during construction. Oh, I still have to rotate the, the garden. I completely forgot the... Yeah, the pool should be closer to me. But for the most part, we are done with construction. I'm very excited to announce that the next skill will be Slayer. So very excited for that. That's the whole reason I got the construction cape beforehand. I can now keep souls and bloods in my rune pouch to use the Arceus spellbook whenever and not use space on those runes. Another thing I'd like to say is the rune crafting video is over 6,000 likes right now. That is surreal. Thank you so much. Honestly, cannot express how grateful I am for all of you. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you're going to rune fest, enjoy yourself. Uh, if you're not going to, uh, to RuneFest, enjoy yourself at home, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be either a guide or a ramble video, and then there's going to be another progress video after that. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.